30 to 40 years down, down the line, what are the major changes that are going to happen to the Earth's climate? What will be the consequences? And uh, something geopolitical game going on. See, climate change is a thing. There's no doubt about it. It's always been around. Climate change is something that you cannot really <laughs> question. It's there. So what's going to happen in the next 30, 40 years? We know that the amount of uh, carbon particulate matter in the atmosphere is increasing. It's at, at, uh, maybe an all-time high or something. I don't have the statistics. You can look it up. Um, so what that does is that it uh, intensifies the global warming. It causes this greenhouse, greenhouse effect. And uh, it's making our climate warmer. I believe in the next 100 or so years, we are projected to have... Uh, a rise and increase in the average global temperature by maybe 2% or so, which is significant. 2% may look a little very small, but uh, in the global context, it's quite uh, quite high. It will uh, cause uh, a lot of ice to melt in the polar regions, more or mostly. Antarctica, the Arctic region, uh, in the north, near the North Pole. And you're already witnessing this. You're seeing this happen. Now, climate change has always been a thing. It's always been around for millions of years, hundreds of millions of years. Uh, if you look at the entire geological history of the planet, it's been a constant story of climate change. Even in India, seven, eight thousand years ago, the Indian uh, monsoon was much more intense. There used to be much more rainfall about eight thousand years ago. And then about eight or so thousand years ago, six thousand BC onwards, the uh, monsoon started uh, declining monotonically, and today we we receive far less rainfall than we used to receive 8,000 years ago, and that caused a lot of changes in India. The an entire river disappeared, right, and so on. So these things have always been part of our history, but right now there is a significant man-made component to the climate change, and because of that we are witnessing global warming. So in 30, 40, 50 years, we're going to have an increase in the global temperatures. Uh, average temperature. So let's say you are in a place where the average temperature today is 25 degrees throughout the year. If you average the temperatures throughout the year, you get an average of 25 degrees. Maybe in 40, 50 years, it may be 26 degrees, right? That sort of thing. So you're going to have these changes. The ocean levels will rise as the ice melts in the, in the polar regions. And in 50, 100, 50 or years or 100 years, many of the low-lying areas the coastal regions in various parts of the world could kind of go underwater. Uh, you may have an increase in the average uh, uh, water levels, sea levels worldwide, maybe by, I don't know how much it's exactly going to be, a foot, two feet. That's, that's a lot, actually. So many low-lying island nations could disappear. There are some islands, island nations in the South Pacific region, small island nations that could be in trouble. The Maldives could disappear. Bangladesh could have a lot of trouble. And people are saying that India should <laughs> absorb uh, the Bangladeshi population that will be affected by this. So all of these things are going to happen. We're going to see this. Even in India, in various coastal cities, Kolkata, Mumbai, uh, Chennai, etc., you could see some, some consequences of this uh, rise in the sea level. So if you're planning to buy property somewhere in one of these metropolitan cities, you may want to buy it on higher ground uh, at some distance from the sea coast, perhaps. So that's that's the kind of thing we're going to witness. It's going to happen. It's happening. It's it's a process that's already in motion. Uh, with the geopolitical game going on, is it stoppable? You can't stop it. It's uh, What we can do is we can try and prevent further change. We can try and slow down the, the pace of change. We can try and ensure that we don't dump more pollution, more carbon into the atmosphere. We can try and reduce the car carbon output, the carbon footprint of every country and so on. That's what we can do. But what's already going on cannot be stopped. It's going to happen. It's going to happen anyway. Uh, so it's, it's almost impossible to stop this because every nation is competing with each other. There are countries that have been destroyed over the past 500 years, 500 years by colonialism. They want to rise again. And the only way to rise again is through industrialization. Industrialization has a carbon footprint. What can you do about it? You can't ask the countries, the West cannot ask the countries it has destroyed in the past 500 years to stop developing. It just won't work. So it's just a natural consequence of development and development is required. We have such a huge population. So there's a whole range of factors in this, but it's going to happen. It's happening.